everybody it's another cooking with ruby day recipe and it is fantastic because today we're making the perfect steak super simple way simpler than i ever thought it was gonna be you know sometimes you just have that steak craving or at least i do i just want a good meaty steak so i have a new york strip here it's one of my favorites. I do like a good bone to gnaw on once in a while too, but I like to pick my steak to where it has a little bit of nicely trimmed excess fat like this, but the marbling is what's really important in a good quality steak. You want that nice pink, red rosiness to the meat with an even marbling of fat throughout it. So, it should look kind of like this or get as close as you can. Sometimes the butcher doesn't have pieces that are this fantastic, but it's pretty close. So they will cook up just perfectly fine as well. So we are going to take our steak and put it into a cast iron skillet. Now this is the go to um, kind of restaurant style steak, that perfect steak. That's one of the reasons I love this recipe. So we're going to sprinkle it with some salt and pepper. I always like fresh cracked pepper on my steak. Really good that way. Then we are going to flip that side that we just seasoned over and to season both sides. So make sure you do that. That way you've got a seasoned side that's cooking in the skillet and a seasoned side that's cooking while it broils. Stick it into the oven on high broil for about mm, three to four minutes, depending on how you like your steak. Now I like mine medium rare. I don't want it bloody, but I still want it pink in the center. So I'll do my best to get it to that point. Take your steak, stick it into a preheated high broil oven. So let's stick it in. So after four minutes, pull it out of the oven, flip the steak over and stick it back in for another four minutes. So I've let the meat rest for about five minutes so that that juice just really gets concentrated in there. So make sure you do that before you serve it because I love to sink my teeth and my mouth around a nice long piece of meat. This looks beautiful. It looks perfect. I love how it gets golden brown on top. The broiling just really makes that fat kind of crisp up that's left on it. And it dwindles down any excess that's there. It is scrumptious. I wish they had smell-o-vision. So let's cut into it and see how close to medium rare we got. Oh, this cuts beautifully too. Oh my gosh. Now this is a nicely cooked steak. Oh, we did it. Look at that. Medium rare. This is beautiful. Check that out. Oh, you are going to love how to cook this steak. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, I want to taste. Oh, it's so supple. So much moisture. I can't wait to get a piece of this meat in my mouth. Mm. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. I bite into the steak and it just juices out my mouth. Like that is an amazingly cooked steak. Perfect. Perfect. Now it took about six to eight minutes per side to get this New York strip, that perfect medium rare. So I hope you guys love this recipe. It is super easy and guaranteed perfect cooked steak every time. I love you.